Hello everybody, it's me coming at you live through the power of your mobile phones. How are you guys doing today? So in this video, there's a lot of things to discuss, so we're just going to get right on into it. But the first thing that you might notice is in the top right corner of my thumbnail, which is this side is for you, I have a big X on Worthy Prince's face, and that's because he's giving false information, and I have to, I have to fix this, right? I wasn't going to make this kind of video. As many of you guys know, I'm not a Lord's Mobile YouTuber, meaning I don't just do Lord's Mobile content. Um, there's great Lord's Mobile YouTubers like Sneaky Tashi, um, Abatrix, and Worthy Prince. Some of his stuff's actually pretty good, right? I've subscribed to him before, so he's not a bad guy. But when you're giving false information, I then have to come in and fix it because I don't want you guys getting the wrong idea about this update. First thing that we're going to go in about this update is it costs a lot of money. It's going to be very, very expensive, and we're going to cover that in a little bit later. There are free ways to get this update as well via events like Dragon Arena, Hell Event Quests, and Turf Quests, which I wouldn't suggest on doing because you're getting stupid might that you don't necessarily need for a measly reward that you're going to actually use and you won't ever get back. These things do add might to your castle in the top right-hand corner, but I thought the best way to do this would were to put his live stream on, and we're going to fix and correct the things that he said are wrong, right? And then I'll show you also some other things like what it looks like on the new ski uh, on the new you know player profiles and everything like that. And what I mean by that is if you click on their name, you can see their gear and their stars. Underneath that also shows you how many shards that they have. Um, this is really kind of like Verge Way in the sense of like you have to buy chests. And if you don't buy the chests, it's going to take you a long time to do. And the stats are actually pretty big. Pretty big. So... If there's a free way, you can do it, but without further ado, let's get into this video. Also, press that like button, it would really help me out. Subscribe if you like this kind of content. Like I said, I'm not a Lord's Mobile YouTuber, but I felt the need to fix this. Let's get it. Alright, we're going to put me over here in that corner, and we're going to let Prince talk, and we're going to fix things that he says wrong, and then we will go from there, okay? So let's... Alright, so first things first. All of your artifacts are going to be right here in the artifact hall, just like the monster hall. Pretty much the same thing. There's an artifact fair and an artifact set down below. The artifact set means if you get multiple levels of these artifacts, like three of the same kind, you will get a boost for having all of them at certain different tier levels. Each one also give you their own stat percentage. Some are very useless, like this Marainer's Heart, right? It's construction speed. It's very useless. But Worthy says something wrong here, and let me see if you guys can catch it. So right here, again, like we literally just talked about, it's just like the Monster Hall, but your artifacts are right here. You can see the construction speed is right right over there. Right, right, let's try this again, right here. Construction speed, right here. And I'll move myself out the way so you guys can see. Um, I'll just put myself right over here in this little corner, and I'll shrink myself down a little bit so you guys can see the most, because obviously his face is blocking a lot of it. So... If you notice, it's right here. It says 1% construction speed. Okay? You can upgrade it. There are 12 levels to upgrade, which Worthy did get right. But he made a huge mistake. And that's maxed out at level 12, which I agree with. That's completely right. So if you max this to level 12, you'll get 10% construction speed. This is literally the worst one, which is why they give it to you for free. Alright, here's where Worthy messes it up. No worthy. It's not twenty percent. So these star multipliers, you can buy you can buy the little brushes in the pack that comes out and the little chests, okay? You have a chance to get these. 
And what these little star multiplier things are is if you get 25 of them, you can then go to the 1.1 multiplier. And then you can get it to the next one, and then to the next one, and then to the next one, and then to the next one, right? All the way up to a 1.5 times percent. So that's an enhance. So this has two levels. You have the upgrade the rarity, which increases, like we've seen before in many other things, right? Like in gear, you go from gray, and then you go to green, and you get a, a stat jump, right? And then you'll go from green to blue, and you'll get a stat jump. This has a rarity. You go all the way up into rarity, and you get that. And then you can also, if that's not enough, you can buy these little brushes, and you can multiply it for a max of 1.5%. And for people that aren't good at math, it's if you work overtime, you get paid time and a half. This is that's what it's it's time and a half right here. It's points and a half. One, it's one and a half. So ten percent plus one point five. Anyway, it's one point five percent multiplied. Need these And those are the artifact brushes that you need. Here's where he messes up again. Listen. Books. Use this to upgrade artifacts. Can also be fused into rare records. Can be obtained from the artifact fair. Okay. All right. So these are just like your normal drops, right? In gear, you have green, blue, purple, gold. It's the same thing. It, to upgrade this specific one, you need 40 of the green to get it to the level two. And obviously, the more the nicer they are, the more expensive they're going to be to level up, just like gear, just like all of those things, right? Listen to what Worthy says. I'm guessing the higher level these ones are, I don't know, I'm guessing other other artifacts, that, like this is a basic artifact with construction speed, so it's only asking for the green book. But I'm guessing there's going to be better artifacts that ask for blue books, purple books, and some are going to ask for gold books. So he's right that you know, this one doesn't take anything but green at the moment. As soon as he upgrades that, it's going to cost even more, just like gear costs when you go from common to legendary. It scales up. He just thinks that these are for different ones, and you get... It, no. No. Let's keep going. All right, so this is like the Verge way, and here's what I mean by that. So the Verge way, you can get a free chest every day and a couple of different times a day, okay? And right in this one, Worthy got five purple books, which is the default. This is the tutorial. And he's asking, did anybody else get five purple books? Yes, Worthy, this is the tutorial. And this is where the pay to win side comes in, technically this side. So you can open one chest for 200 of these tokens or whatever you want to call them. You can open it 10 times for 2000. As you can see, there's no discount, right? There is no discount for the amount that you open, whether it's one or 10. It's just simplest, less clicking buttons, right? This is how IGG is gonna make their money. You have different packs at, if you're in the US, a $5 pack is gonna get you 900, a $20 pack is gonna get you 4,500, which you can buy three times per week. A $600, uh, you can get 600 coins for, it's probably like 999. Um, is going to be there, the, the cash equivalent. And then in a second, he will scroll down and boom, you can get uh, 3000 for $50, but you can buy that over and over and over again, right? And this is where I'm really going to show you how pay to win this update is. If you're a moderate spender, this is going to push the Titans over the edge past you, just like Astrolite, right? People are still trying to work on Astrolite. They're trying to get caught up on Astrolite. And a lot of us are struggling, right? Especially, like, the champs that aren't, like, stupid rich. Like, it's so expensive to get the accessories and everything, right? Even even the drums are pretty expensive, right? Considering, like, this is the antique chests. You can get these points via, uh, you know, Dragon Arena, Guild Fest, uh, Guild Bash. You can get all of those things you can get these points through. But it's not going to be, like, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000. It's going to be very small amounts of them, right? Let's listen to what Worthy has to say about this as well. All right, do you guys want to see the oat face? The, oh, this is going to cost so much money face? That it's going to be a super expensive update face? I'll show you. Ready? Literally got open chests to get. 
Those I am. Yeah. Look at his face. Help me! Help me! The one moment that you realize that we just got another update that's going to cost house money. <sighs> IGG, why do you do this to us? So let's break down what some of these are, and we will go from there. I'm going to scroll through here, and you can just see the amount of items that are here. Uh... It's a ton. Obviously, the higher the rarity, the better they are. And just when you thought that was enough, there's more. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. There's still more. Boom. First things first. The things right over here. Okay. Those brushes give you the multiplier. You have a chance to get everything else and those brushes, but you need those brushes. So you're going to be opening a tons of these packs. And then they have green, blue, and purple books, but they have no gold books, it looks like. So it looks like you have to pay to get the gold books. Okay? But I may be wrong on that, so don't quote me. So there's all of these different antiques that you can get, and they all do something different, whether it's infantry attack, cavalry attack, siege attack, maybe even army coalition, right? Let, but let's keep diving into this, because I want to show you how broken this is. It's just like, it's basically Star Scrolls, but more of them, right? Because they give you passive stats, and you get the stars on your stuff, right? But now it's on something completely different, and it's still passive stats that all of these titans are going to have that you're not going to have. All right, now let's look at the artifact sets, the artifact sets, basically, if you look, the King's Journey set, if you get three of those items at no grade, you automatically get Army Defense 5. If you get them to three stars, you automatically get Army Max HP of 5%. And then if you get them to their max level, you get Army Attack of 5%. But Worthy says something wrong here, and I'll just let you listen. It's, there it is, guys, and it's only 5%. It's only 5%. <laughs> no worthy. That's the passive stat that you get in, in addition to all of these stats that they give you. And these stats are fat. Listen to the stats. It's only 5%. Wow, that's going to be a mission to get that shit all done. And it's 5%. Come on, worthy. Or is that the lowest boost? Boom. So just this one. Right? The prophetic monolith. Just the monolith. 24% cap attack, 24% range attack, and 12% HP at max level and blessed. That means it's at its max level and it's been brushed, right? Tempered, whatever you want to actually call it, right? 24, 24, and 12. You know how many thousands of dollars that's going to cost? And that's just for one. Oy vey. Let's keep going. And that's for one. All right. But there's more. That's only one of the three. Right? That's just one of them. So then you can go to the next one. And it's going to give you another boost. And another boost. Like this one. Inf Cav Range. <laughs> and as you can see in the top right hand corner. Inf Cav HP Max upgrade, max enhance at level 12, okay? But there's three of them. And if they all overlap 24 times 3, it's like 72%. That's insane. That's like actually insane. Yo, that's better than some people's gear. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm dying here, okay? So that's I'm dying. one of them. Help and me. there's three sets that give you three different boosts. So I'm assuming most of those in the in the hall aren't good. And this is the third one, Infrange Cav. See? So as you can see, I'm going to back this up just right here. So there's a King's Journey, which is one. Timeless, which is one. And Elven Legend, which is one. All of those are going to give you big boosts. Okay? And all of the stuff in those collections are going to give you big boosts. 
but the ones that you saw previously, the hole that you scroll through, some of those are just going to be pointless, like trap attack, wall defense, stuff like that, right? So this is where it actually matters. So ignore all of the ones that you saw previously, okay? You're going to want to get the King Set, Timeless, and Elven Legend, all of those items. You're going to want this one, this one, this one. So three, three, and three. So nine items, basically, you're going to want to max them all the way. Who knows how much that's going to cost? But that, that's what the update is, right? King's Journey, Timeless, and Elven. You want all of those completely done, okay? And that's going to give you the passive stats right here on the right for each single one, plus you'll get all of the stats for these three items, okay? And you have to do that three times for King's Journey, Timeless, and Elven Legend. The other ones, I'm sure you're going to get like maybe 2 or 3% of stack. It's kind of like the Verge way, right? There's only a couple of good cards that you really want. The other ones you just kind of have to get. And this does increase your might. Let's keep going. This item gives you these boosts. Infinite, like this, for example, the Ancient Calendar will give you 24% infantry attack, 24% cav, and 12% range. range yes, attack. Worthy, thank you. Maxed out. And if it seems like I'm really hating on Worthy, I'm not. I'm sure he's a great guy. I literally have no, you know, quarrels with him, but I gotta fix some of the information because I can't let everybody think that this is actually what it is, like what he said. You know what I mean? Like, it's my job to give you accurate information and be entertaining with it, right? And I'm sure where these is to be entertaining, but is it really to give you accurate information? Yeah. And then the same goes for the book. Research speed boost and huge HP boost. Look at this. Infantry HP boost, 30% booster here, 30% across the board. All right, so the timeless, the King's Journey was basically in cav range attack, okay? And they gave you some army stats as well. So King's Journey is definitely the best one. Then you have timeless. Timeless is going to give you two, three, and five percent research speed depending on what tier you're at, okay? And they're going to give you infantry, cav, and range HP, basically. 30% across the board. And that is right, and that's right here right? You're going to get 30% HP, but you're also going to get some research boosts, which is them hinting at, we're going to give you another big research tree here coming up. So make sure you guys have enough tomes because they're going to give you a new research tree. Okay. And then lastly, we have the Elven Legend and they give you training speed at level one. If you get all of them to three star, they give you 2% additional training speed. And then the items also um, if I can get that up right here for you, it's going to be 16% training speed with the Elven Crown. And as you can see, that that was purple. But this was the prophetic monolith that we saw earlier, the big boy, that gave 24% cap, 24% range, and 12% army HP. And there's three of these, right? Just like there's three 11Ks. I don't know if it's going to cost 11K, but it's going to be very, very expensive. This is mad. You need... Oh, my God. I don't even want to... I don't even want to know how... You need to get 50 of them to make it, I think. These shards. And it's going to cost you 50, right here, just to make it to level 1. You know, just like gear, it's going to go up progressively as it levels up, right? So it's going to be 50, then 100, then 150. This is a very, very expensive update once again. Before we go even further into it, get a drink. You're going to need it for the rest of this. It gets worse, believe it or not. Depression. I'm just kidding, guys. Let's keep going. All right. You can press in the top right-hand corner up here where the little chart is, and that's going to show you how many stats that you get that you have from your artifacts, okay? And it's just like the Verge way. It's just like, you know, you can see what your stats are with your gear on. That's exactly what it is, right? So if we click on that, boom, and then you can see... 1% construction speed, research speed, and then it goes all the way down to your army attack, your inf cav range, with leader, without leader, battle fury. Those are all of the different stats that you're going to get from the artifacts. Uh, not necessarily all of them, of course, um, and they are applicable to add more if they want to add more. But as of now, you know, everything in those slots you're going to get at least 1% in, depending on the level, okay? At this point, you might be freaking out and you're like, oh my goodness. How... Am I going to get these and I'm free to play? Well, here's one way you can, and I don't recommend it. Underneath your turf quests right here, 
you can actually collect turf quests and you will now get those rewards right up here, right? But I wouldn't do that because you get permanent might that you're never going to get back. It's going to give you XP, which, you know, is whatever. Most people are level 60, right? And you'll get these rewards, but they'll be temporary. And what I mean by that is you'll get these books and the, the crests or whatever you want to call them, but you're getting permanent might that you're never going to get away. So most people won't collect this, and I don't recommend collecting these. But fear not, there are a couple ways that you can actually get this. Like previously we said Dragon Arena, Guild Bash, Guild Fest, and your daily things right here, right? Like where it says AP prizes, if you get to like 80 in this instance, one of the rewards was 50 of these crests times one. Yeah. Right, so this is a way to slow ball it slowly over time, which most people are going to do because they're not going to want to drop thousands of dollars on this update. All right, all right, and then here's the $5 pack. This is the $5 version. Of course, it automatically, you already know, goes all the way up to $100, which um, a lot of YouTubers already said on their channels, right? And I completely agree. It's going to go 5 uh, and then all the way up 20 50 100 you know, and then it, it, depending on your currency, obviously it could be like 449 or something like that, but you know what I mean? In those general increments, it's going to shoot all the way up and then you're going to be able to get hundreds of dollars. You can max it all out in one day if you really want to. All right, let's open the chest and see what 600 of these crests get you. Open it at times three. We open it and we get dun, 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 20 blue, five perp, 10 green. And on the bottom it says, open X more, six more artifact chests for a guaranteed epic or higher. What does this mean? It means that you're going to get generally around that amount. It might be more, it might be less, but it's generally around that amount, okay? You can open X amount more and they'll guarantee you at least one of these. So you're not completely getting scammed. And just in case you wanted to know, if you do subscribe for their 7-day boost, you do get some 2,450 and... I wouldn't pay this for that, but that's how much you get over seven days. So as you guys know, it's split up over seven days, and you'll get so much every single day. Make sure you collect them, of course, but that's also another option if you want to buy it slowly. But again, for seven days, I don't, I don't feel like that's worth it, but use your own discretion. All right, so in just a second, I want to play a video, kudos of Woody, and it's going to click every single artifact show you all of the stats on them so you guys can see what you need, what you don't. But here's a preface. Only gold and purple give you attack stats, okay? Blue and below only give you HP. There are some that are purple and gold that do give HP as well as attack, but only the attack stats are gonna be gold and only are gonna be purple. So all the lower level ones are gonna give you 8% infantry HP or 6% cab attack with leader, etc. But those are only at the higher levels. So the lower ones, like I said, are going to be no attack stats, basically HP defense. And the higher ones are going to be army attack, army HP, um, cab attack, inf attack, range attack, with leader, without leader, you know, for forts, without forts, they're all going to be different. And there's a little button that you can press at the top if you want to filter it out to say, what do I need for cab attack? Okay, what do I want cab attack with leader? What do I want cab attack for a wonder, right? All these different kinds of things. But before I show you that video, listen to what Worthy has to say. Uh, just to make sure I make no mistakes here, even though I know the basic mathematics of it. But for me, this means... Now look, I'm just going to tell you how this looks, how this translates for me, okay? Just tell us, please. This means that if this construction artifact here is 10%. Yes. If I was to then go to the Enhance mm -hmm. and get this to five stars, right... It would Which, first of all, he thinks that it only costs you 25 once and the 40 level books once. No, it scales up worthy. What do you think it is? It'd be 10 times 1.5. Yeah. Which equals 15. So basically, it's going to be... Let's get a calculator just in case, just for him. 10 times 1.5 equals 15. Keep going. Half again. If you max out the star multiplayer... It increases it by 50%. What? Could you could you please just say that say that again please? Just So basically it's going to be half again. If you max out the star multiplier, it increases it by 50%. It's basically what it does. 
Now, if that's the case, all of the artifacts have the enhanced ability on them. He's making this way more complicated than it needs to be. Max boost at construction speed is 10%. You enhance it, you can do it for another 1.5%. 10 times 1.5 equals answer. That's it. But it shows you on the enhance screen with the blessing and with the enhance. It shows you. It says this is what it is. It's the max that it can go to. So you have no business even you know, doing all the math and, and freaking out. And you're like, well, is it really this? Is it really this? No. You simply have to click on the item and see what the stat is. The exact same way you would click on a hero and you would say, at blue, it's 1%. At green, it's 4%. At gold, it's 20%. And it tells you this is at max hero grade. This is the exact same. At max gear grade, max enhance, at max level. It tells you. It literally says this is the rate. And if you don't believe me, look right here. It says 24% infantry, 24% calf, and 12% army HP. At what? At max level. And what? And blessed. At max level. 12 and blessed with the with the multiplier of 1.5 right there no more math it's it's literally that simple right without further ado here's every single item being clicked on shout out to woody for giving us the footage as well as a spreadsheet of stats per item check it out I'ma let you go
All right, here is the new system. It basically just shows that your artifacts, the level they are, and how many are blessed and everything like that on public view so people can see if they're stronger or not, to see if they're stronger than you, um, and then etc, cetera, etc, cetera, just like the Castle Stars. And lastly, here is the spreadsheet saying at what level, you know, what you get. So, for example, this gold one, inf attack of 48, and then 20 at purple, 0 at blue for a total of 68. Cav, range, inf, and then keeps going down with, with leader, without leader, wonder, without wonder, fury, without fury. Research, uh, construction, vault storage, hunt speed literally everything here's a spreadsheet so you guys can screenshot that and then again thank woody and his lh friends this is all their information it's not my own but i thought that would be very helpful for you guys to have don't forget to join the discord community the link is in the description down below come and join us live on twitch and get to see the content ahead of time